Alright, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Tractor Supply Company. Is it a buy? No. I'm the only person that's going to get you out of here quickly, but let's look at it anyways. Um, so, Tractor Supply Company stock price is $210. Its current price to earnings ratio is 26. Its five year is 37. Its earnings per share are 748 and its five year is 525. We're looking at a $24 billion market cap. Free cash flow it should generate about 1.2 billion. It's generating 657 million. I could even use last or the current years, which is like 746 million. That would give us a market cap roughly of 13 billion and a share price of about $114 to $85. We'll cut the difference. It's a $99 stock. Um, come down here, they have about $2 billion in shareholder equity divided by the shares outstanding. You're looking at $115 million. That gives us a book value per share of $17.39. And... You add in the cash flows, you're getting this as $120 stock with share buybacks. That's about $156 stock. That's way off from the 210, which makes sense because of the price to earnings ratio. Then if we go here, I used everything money software to look up, you know, what it's been growing at for about the past 10 years. And it's been growing somewhere between about 11% and 15 on average, but there was an off year of 24% growth and that was this past year. So I've, I averaged that in, to be honest with you. And I'm still not getting remotely near $210. So come over here and then we look at this through the price, well, I guess I am hitting it. If you believe that it's going to grow at 24% per year and sell at a price to earnings ratio of 25, which it's selling at 26 right now, it's a $499 stock. I don't think that's sustainable because let's be honest about it. How much crap is Tractor Supply Company really going to sell to justify 24% per year? But you're getting it selling at a 10 for a 10% discount rate, which my preferred metric is 12 or greater. It's actually 15, but I don't know how often I'm going to get that. But I'll settle for like a 13, 14. If I think I can get it in there, I'm not married to 15. But this, even for 15% growth rate, you're looking at very little under uh, upside. I mean, $234. So come over here, go to the low end of 11 price to earnings. If you believe 24, if you believe it's going to grow 24% for the next 10 years, this might not be the worst stock to buy. I just have a tough time believing that and uh, collecting the dividend while it's slightly undervalued. I just don't think that you're going to get anywhere remotely near that. The average of 25 price to earnings ratio for a 10% return is 267. Down to a price to earnings ratio of 117, which gives us an average of 199. 239 is the high and uh, 75 is the low for a 15% return. You average those out, you get a $177 stock. Over here, using a terminal multiple of three, you can use what I, what you want. I use for the cash flows. I use a three because it's a conservative number. Um, it gives you $121 stock. My entire model is telling me this is $168 stock with share buybacks, $218. Yeah, the, the, for I don't really picture this as a high growth company. That's why your, your 26 price to earnings ratio isn't going to work for me. See what I include here. Okay. 
growing at 11% per year. You're looking at a $77 billion market cap 10 years from now, which would give you a $699 stock. And that would give you $184 share price. If they continue to buy shares back, it's a $234 stock. Um, how do I feel about this? Even though my model is telling me there is a slight upside to this stock. I don't know. I mean, everything money in here has it between $108 and $575, depending on what you believe. Um, I don't believe this 24% is sustainable. See what kind of effect it has if we just do 15%. And even this is a little bit steep for me in believing these numbers. I mean, if you go back and you look at the discovery numbers, discovery was borderline a buy, even using your five-year average, where this co this uh, company, $139. Yeah, that, that changes it substantially. It drops it below its 210 selling point. Um, it's really not going to change this over here with the market cap. Still $234. Um what would my final verdict be? Obviously, what I said in the beginning, this isn't a buy. If I was looking for at a company like this, I just don't see fast growth. Like a company like Alibaba, I don't mind paying 26, a 26 price to earnings ratio for, even though I'd rather get it for cheaper. I just don't think this company would justify anything outside of a 15 price to earnings ratio selling at a price to earnings ratio of 15 for me to consider it. And I mean, I the 24% is an off year because of COVID. I think a lot of people stayed home and worked on their lawns. So, I mean, we can go back to that. We use the five-year uh, earnings per share. I mean, this drops it down to 114. Well, no, it's not going to affect that one, but. We come over here. Yeah, it's a $120 stock. This would be more in the range of what I'm looking at. Let's see. What is price to earnings ratio? 7.48. What would 15 PE ratio give us? hundred and. $12, $127 stock. Yeah, I, to me, that's a more reasonable assumption. Um, you're looking at, it's a $13 billion mark. It should be about a $13 billion market cap today. So, I mean, what would I say about it having a $77 billion market cap in, or it, it'd actually be a $54 billion. Why'd that change? That's why. 7.48. Right. Yeah, as far as having a $77 billion market cap in 2031, that's kind of a tall order for me. Um, it, it, it just, I just don't think this company is going to grow. I could be wrong, but I just don't see it growing like that. It seems more realistic to me. A $54 billion market cap, $126 stock, and $164 if you account for share buybacks, which I have in there. That drops down here. That would drop it to an $80 stock, about $104. And of course, what did I get over here? Yeah, $120 stock. For me, man, if I was going to buy this stock, I would be going off of the numbers of the five year. I just think that this is a company, unlike Intel, I used the current price to earnings rate or the current earnings per share because they've had an off year. They've had a down year. Uh, Tractor Supply had an uh, outsized year with a 24% return 
over the one year. I just don't think that's realistic or uh, sustainable. And I think in my model, it's really jacking up the price you would pay for it. But yeah, that's Tractor Supply Company. I'll take a pass on it, even though I actually looked into the financials on everything money and I loved increasing earnings per share per year, increasing cash flows for almost every year for the past 10 years. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna say this is a hard pass on this stock. What I'm gonna do is just kinda keep it in the back of my head and if I see it drop, to a price to earnings ratio of probably about 15. I'll look at it again. So there you go. Like and subscribe or don't and I'm out.